In today's guitar lady tutorial, we're gonna go from you as a guitar player to a guitar lady player. Or if you're an ukulele player making transition, that will also work as well. We're gonna do a blue shuffle and A is gonna sound like this. So blue shuffle, this is just, you know, classic <laughs> music and, and it's something I love. So this, if you're a guitar player, would be like a blues and E. But as a guitar later player, this is going to be a blues and A. And if you're just coming from the ukulele, you don't know what we're doing because most of this lesson is on the fifth and the sixth strings, which, as we know, ukuleles don't have those. All right, so the first one here, this is based off an A7 chord, it's going to be this. So that's the first measure. These are swung eighth notes. And it's just gonna start with open, sixth string, and then my first finger is gonna be on the fifth string, second fret. I'm gonna hit that twice. Then I'm gonna add my third finger to the fifth string, fourth fret, hit that twice. Take it off, back to the first chords, the zero and two. Hit that twice, and then I'm gonna do this little, this little walk. So it's gonna be my middle finger on the sixth string, third fret, going to the fourth fret. And that's, that's it, that's, that's the first pattern. Ready, and. So we do that four times, and now we're gonna go to the four chord, which is in the key of A, the D chord. And now this is easy, because all we're gonna do is gonna take this shape we're doing, and we're just gonna move it down a string. So now your first finger is on the fourth string, second fret, and then you're gonna play open, fifth string, and you're gonna do exact same thing, except you're just gonna do it twice. Ready, and. All right, and then if you haven't noticed, I'm just using my thumb, using all down strokes for this particular lesson. All right, so then we just go back to the A, and we do that same thing two times. And now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Let me play here the uh, last four bars. All right, so it's gonna start with the five chord, which in the key of A is the E chord. And so on the guitar lately, what this chord is, is it's like a power chord. And you got your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and then your third finger on the fourth string, third fret. You're gonna hit that twice. And then you're gonna reach your pinky out, and you're gonna hit the fourth string, sixth fret, and you're gonna do that twice. Then you're gonna take it off and do the first chord again, one and three. And then you're gonna put the pinky down again. And that's it, so it's gonna sound like this. Three and uh. Notice you have none of that walking bass on this particular one, because it's just a little bit too hard, so we'll just do it this. Then we go back to the D chord, except we're just gonna do that pattern, so no, no walking bass on that one, so just zero two, Zero four, zero two, zero four. Then it goes back to the one chord, the A chord, and you're gonna do it exactly the same as always. And then here's where it gets cool. We got a little half step slide at the end. And so it's just gonna hit the six string open twice. And then I'm gonna do this chord into our five chord. And this is just an F chord going into a E chord. So what it is here, it's actually like an F7 going to an E7. So I'm gonna do my second finger on the fifth string, third fret, my first finger on the fourth string, second fret, and then my third finger on the third string, third fret. So I'm just gonna hit those one time and then I'm gonna slide that shape back one fret 
And it's just basically what this is, is F7 to E7. All right, so that's the last measure. So go in time, it sounds like this. Three and. That's a little tricky, so do, do with me. Ready and uh, one and two and three. One more time. All right, before we do the whole thing, let's just play those last four bars because this is really the hardest part of this whole lesson. All right, so here we go, starting on this E chord. Ready and... Uh... Then you would repeat the whole 12 bars again, or you could then just go back to the A chord and end it. All right, so let's go ahead and play. We're gonna do the whole thing though two times. Here we go, from the top. One, two, three, four. and on the A chord. All right, so there's a blue shuffle in A, and that will help you if you're a guitar player coming over to the guitar lately, and if you're a ukulele player coming over to the guitar lately, then this will teach you how to utilize those two new strings that we, uh, we see here on the guitar lately. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one, and we'll see you in the next one.